I have a very important question to ask everybody out there. And listen closely, people. Okay? So here we go. All right? We all know what the pandemic came through. They're doing all this testing. So the question is, who's got all these results? Who's storing all these results? Now, you have to remember, you go for these tests, they either put something up your nose, they use the saliva, they, you know, the back of your throat, or they take a blood test, all right? They have your DNA. Remember that, folks. Somebody out there has your DNA. Now, when you go for these tests and everything else, you have to prove who you are. So you have to have your driver's license, you have to have your insurance card, you have to have all this information, or maybe something from your doctor, or however. You can't just walk up there and say you're Joe Blow from down the street and they're going to give it to you. Don't work that way. Okay? Now, I did go online, and I tried to search and try to find out where this information is stored. Who has this information? What are they using it for? And better yet, why do they need it? Why do they need to store it? That's all your personal, private information. But I couldn't find anything. It just kept taking me all back through all the same, you know, questions, you know, from the CDC, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And it, none of it pertained to my question. Who has all this information and who's storing it? So I did find some few things. Um, I'm going to read off here in just a quick second. Um, but uh, I did find one little thing that was kind of uh, not surprising, I guess you would say, but a little disturbing. Uh, IBM has uh, started using their, quote, supercomputers, and they're loading all this information and everything into it uh, to help them better track and come up with, uh, you know, ways to control the virus and to mitigate the virus. So, one would think those supercomputers more likely have all of our information if you were tested. Luckily, I haven't had to be tested. I know you got a wooden around here. Oh, there we go. Knock on wood. Okay. But, you know, for all you people that have had to be tested, or your family members, or friends, or whoever, people really need to ask the question where this stuff is, where all this information is, and you know, what are they doing with it? Because eventually, it's going to get into the wrong hands. We all know how this whole thing works. You know, unless you were just born yesterday underneath a rock and you're just clueless, um, we all know how this goes. So this is some of the information that I did find, which I think some of you might find quite interesting. Okay? The ongoing uh, coronavirus outbreak has brought privacy and surveillance concerns to the forefront. Really? There we go. Well, we all want to know what the hell's going on. From hacked video conferencing sessions to proposed government tracking. Government tracking us? What are they talking about? But people's cell phones as a measure to limit and prevent the spread of the virus. So they track us and everything else, and but that way there they can control and track the virus. It's all about the virus. Some governments have already started to use phones to record data, including names, addresses, you know, where you live, your gender, your age, your location, especially with 5G, disease symptoms, and COVID-19 test results. So, it seems to me that um, once they label a thing, quote, pandemic, that they can get away with just about anything, so they think, and they can collect all this information and they can do with it and store it and give it to whoever, so they think. Until people out there start questioning some of this stuff, then maybe they'll have to think a different way. But they'll find some loophole somewhere in the system. All right. What government entities have the authority to collect personal information for public health purposes in a crisis? Okay. Based on the law of prevention and treatment of infection disease, 
the emergency response law, the regulation and response to public health emergencies, the following entities have the authority to collect and report information concerning public health emergencies. Here we go. The Health Administration Department, i.e. the National Health Commission and its local counterparts. You're going to notice there's counterparts on quite a few of these. The medical and health institutions, i.e. hospitals, clinics, doctors, etc. Disease prevention and control institutions, i.e. Center for Disease Control and Prevention and its local counterparts. There's that word again. Other institutions, i.e. townships, residential communities, and local authorities that are authorized by the government, emergency command headquarters, and slash other counterparts. Here we go with that counterparts thing again. Who is in the counterparts? That's what I want to know. Who is the counterpart? Who is it? Who has your information? Who has your DNA? Who has your name, your address, your phone number? You know, who you had dinner with two weeks ago? Who has all this information? They're using these cell phones and they're using them because now they can kind of like, act, you know, they track with each other. So that with this whole 5G thing, you know, going on. And I have a video coming up on 5G that you may want to watch because it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit scary. And, you know, there's too much of this going on. But the question still stands is where is our information? Now, the last little thing here which was at the very end of this whole paragraph thing that I read from the government. And it states, capital letters, individuals who refuse to provide personal information necessary for containing the COVID-19 provide false information or conceal important information may be subject to civil, administrative, and criminal liabilities, depending on the severity of the conduct. Where's the penalty for not telling us where all our information's going? Where's the penalty for not telling us who has our information? If you had this test done, and your DNA is floating out there, plus all your information, I would think you would like to know. Just saying. So today I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. If you have anything to say about this, please put it in the comments below. If you know anything about this, where this information may be, or if you find something on the internet, please put a link to it in the comments below because I'm really interested. Should be very interesting. The key here is, if you know anything, comment below so maybe everybody else can maybe learn a little something here. So until next time, this is the Bible Preparedness for Beginners, and I'll catch you on the flip side.